Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, hello, teacher. Good evening. There you go. So, hi. Hi. Good evening. How you doing? Hi, Asana. Hi, Yolanda. Great to see you, girls. Hi, Simonica hi, there as nice well. To see you too. Daniel, good evening. How you doing? How was your weekend, guys? Did you have a nice one? Yes, teacher. <laughs> yes, very good. What did you do? Nothing special. <laughs> <laughs> but you rested, I guess. Yes, yes, so, I rest. Hi, I guess Monica is in class. But not, but not rest in peace, teacher. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no. No, but that is amazing when you have like some time for yourself, right? And you can rest a little bit, enjoy your on your own. So that is really cool. I really like it. Okay. So being, being some kind of bear and something like that. Oh, I, I'm more well, I don't normally drink, you know, so I'm more just like talking. I love talking and and and, and meeting my friends. So <laughs> I'm yeah. happy uh, if that is the case. Uh, Rafael, good evening. Dago, good evening. How you doing, Hello, guys? good evening. Rafael, I like your voice. It's very deep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. so for, for some reason, your voice sounds very, very deep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank have, you. <laughs> have you been like on the radio or something? No. <laughs> I used to have like some students who were on the radio, so their voices were like very cool, very controlled. So your voice sounds that way. Okay, <laughs> I thank thought, you. Uh -huh, I thought that you were on the radio as well. As uh, Susana, what about your weekend? How was it? Adrian, good evening. Irving, great to see you guys. How was your weekend? Did you have a good one? Uh, actually, I I had a um. A not so good weekend because um, my son, my little son, uh, was sick. Was oh, very. I'm sick. sorry to hear that. Yeah, and and we went um, to my um, parents' house. Yeah. And when we were there, he was sick, so oh. we had to come back home. We had to to go to the doctor. But thanks God, uh, he is taking the medicine, and I hope he is getting well soon. Oh, okay. Great to hear that. So that is important. But, well, the bad thing is that you couldn't exactly enjoy your parents' company that much. But yes. the good thing is that your, your boy is getting better. So that sounds all right. Yes. Uh, I think that's uh, important as well. All right, guys, so um, thanks a lot for uh, joining today's session. We are moving on to with number two, actually. And I saw in the group that some of you uh, were having some questions about like some exercises in the platform that were not working. Um, I think some seconds ago, someone posted, they have already uh, solved the exercise. So thanks a lot, guys, for sharing. Uh, Susana, you're still having issues? I, I saw your, your like... I still have problems with, with the section number three. Oh, uh -huh. Because um, the platform uh, cannot accept any option. Even la, uh, those um, my classmates uh, share in the chat. So in your case, okay. Um, so by the end of the of today's session, I'm going to like take a couple of minutes so we can take it out and we can take a look and we can work with a roundabout. So normally okay. uh, there is like a, like a way around it or sometimes uh, it, it, the issue remains or the issue happens because of the apostrophes, if there is any. So the most common uh, way to solve it is just like copy paste it. But le let's take a look like by the end of, of today's session and we can work a little bit okay. with the Thank exercises. You, because I think that most of you were having like very similar issues. So and we can also work on I it. had problems with the um, section B of the midterm. Okay. Mm -hmm. be -term. All right. So if you have like the, the exercise, we can definitely take a look at it probably. 
some have the same um, situation, right? So, uh, Claudia, good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. I good see Christia coming as well. And I believe that's Sophia, I think. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Okay. All right, guys. So, I'm super happy to see you. I'm very uh, excited to get started with week number two. And uh, if you remember in the previous classes, we were working a little with the storytelling. Today we are moving on with another topic we gotta cover that is present perfect uh, progressive. You have already completed the exercises, but it is also important to practice it um, on uh, speaking, right? Not just grammar, uh, not just a structure, but also putting it into practice. So I have like some exercises for you guys. Um, to get started, I have some pictures and uh, let's see how creative you got on today, Monday, you know, <laughs> I know that Mondays are very hard, but I got some questions here. Um, I have like some pictures here and uh, we are going to change the idea a little bit. So it says, uh, choose one picture and tell a short story. It is not exactly a story you got to make, but it is just like trying to um, I don't know, in fair, trying to guess what is going on with only one. All right, I'm not going to ask you to uh, put together the six pictures. <laughs> okay, so what do you think is going on in these pictures, guys? You can choose any and tell us what is going on or what happened to this person before. I think they are like real life. <laughs> All of them have problems. All of them are having like a bad day. <laughs> And they okay. are sad. They look sad. And worry. <laughs> okay, so worried, sad. Okay, they're having a lot of difficulties. What else can you tell me? For example, picture number one. What happened to the girl? What's going on here? Uh, she shakes uh, the uh, eye bags. <laughs> oh, okay, so she's checking her eye circles, eye bags. Okay, why? What do you think she was doing? Or why is she checking that? Maybe last night she had a, a bad, a bad night. Um, maybe she can't. She couldn't uh, dr uh, dream. Okay, so she couldn't sleep well. Sleep well, yeah. Oh, okay. That happens to us, right? Sometimes we have insomnia, sleep deprivation. Or we are overthinkers. <laughs> so we are thinking and thinking and analyzing. Okay, yeah, I totally get you. Any other possibility, guys? Maybe uh, she, ha she has been working so hard oh, and, and she couldn't sleep um, all the hours that is recommended. Oh, okay. That could be a very nice uh inference as well that she may may have just slept like two or three hours right and that's why she's like showing this all right okay what about the man below guys what's going on so uh sophie hi what pictures did you the, this one the, the one that is below uh, the man below. Uh, wait, Sophia, I'm just going to change your name <laughs> because it looks with a different, with the phone. No, yeah, so some seconds ago, I was like, wait, this is Sophia. <laughs> Let me just switch it to your name. So, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I uh, slice back. There you uh, go. So the man here, the man below. Mm -hmm, no worries. He's screaming. Uh, no. Uh, that may happen. He's yeah. very angry. So he's very angry. Yeah. And stressing. He's stressed. He's a stressed out. Okay. But why? Why is he stressed out? Because she and he uh, received uh, the bill, the electric bill. <laughs> <laughs> because of the gasoline too <laughs> oh, because of the electricity oh, bill okay. but the electricity is worse did you? electricity is worse no. well I think it depends <laughs> but it's that, essential for oh. us uh -huh. well now it's more expensive right so that may happen so electricity okay and any other reason why he might be very upset 
because he didn't receive the food. Ah. He's complaining, Sophie. The chicken, real chicken. No. <laughs> <laughs> but that would happen, right, sir? He's missing his food. Okay, he's kind of complaining about it. Okay, okay, that may have happened. Um, what about the girl? What about the girl that is on top? I think she's admiring his, uh, I don't know, eyes, wrinkles. No. Oh, admiring. you mean the, this one, the, oh, the first girl? Oh, yes. I, I mean the one in the middle, the upper middle. Ah, the middle. Uh -huh. Yes, this one. With the baby? Upper, the one that has some spot. This red spot and this other spot. What do you think is going on with this woman? Oh, wait. I don't know if you can see that. I hope so. Do you, do you see the spots? No. Yes. The red spots? The red circles? Okay. Yes. So yes. What, yes. What do you yes. think? Uh, normally we call them spots. So a spot is like, like um, yeah, like a circle. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So you see here like a red spot and there is another here in the lower back. So um, what, what do you think is wrong with her? Or what? She slept. Badly. Ah, she slept badly. Okay. And now she has a terrible pain in her neck and also in her back. Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds really good. Okay. Anybody else who wants to infer, guys? I see we have more people. Give me one sec. Elvis, good evening. Mauricio, great to see you. Silvia, hello. hello. How are you? I'm doing good great. Evening. Thanks for asking. What about Thanks. yourself? Yeah, I think I think that girl has a a, a very spam uh, spams. Uh, it's like a spams, or I don't know how do you say that. Es como espasmo muscular. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like so a, yeah, there is actually a, a word that we can use that is sore. So sore is when you have like a like a pain in any part of your body. So yeah, so sore back, that could be backache. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could definitely work. So yes, what was she doing? You said that maybe she had a, a bad night, right? She has slept mm -hmm. badly. Any other possibility? This happens to me when I'm working on the computer all day and I don't sit, you know, right. I don't sit straight. So I'm crooked. <laughs> So I end up with a terrible back pain. So what about you guys? Any other possibility? He has stress for the accident. Oh, okay. Oh, you, you combine already the accident. <laughs> okay. Yes. But yeah, that would happen. Exactly. That could be a consequence, right? Okay. What about guys? This one, the picture below, the mother and the kid. She had a fever. Has... He has COVID. He has, <laughs> he has the flu. Okay. He has so a fever. Fever? COVID? <laughs> Any other possibility? She is the... sick and her mother is taking care of him. Oh, okay. So he's just sick. All right. Okay. Any other illness that could fit in here? Just COVID, flu, fever. Yes, fever, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Fever okay. or blue, blue, flu, flu, flu. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. A flu or a cold, right? That is another possibility as well. So, flu or a cold. All right. And the last one, guys. We know that with this COVID, a lot of pictures like this were on internet. So, what what is going on with the doctors? Uh, they are tired. Maybe. After the surgery, oh, I think. Okay. It it seemed like a, I don't know how to say cirujanos. Surgeons, uh huh. Surgeons. So they are yes. yes. I'm going to write it in here. So yes, they are surgeons. Very nice, very nice guesses. All right, guys, great. Now let's take a look at the question that is on top that says why are they sore, right? Why are they in pain? or what happened before. So whenever we are talking about, if you take a look at most of these situations or most of the um, yeah, situations that we see in the pictures, 
the something must have been the cause, right? So what have they been doing? We are going to use present perfect progressive to talk about these activities. So what was happening a couple of seconds ago, a couple of minutes ago, uh, when this um, started? So we are going to be using this present perfect thing, uh, present perfect continuous tense that you saw before. I remember in this example, somebody said, maybe she hasn't been sleeping right that is a very nice possibility a very good um reason why she is having eye circles right so let's just try to remember the structure a little bit if you remember in the section number two of the platform you were studying this present perfect continuous so we are going to use it for activities that have been in um in progress for some time, right? So normally I'm going to use subject, I'm going to use have or has, and I'm going to use being, this is necessary, exactly, and then ing. So this is the structure that we are going to be using. The girl, for example, with the eye circles, so I can say um, she has not, I can make it negative, she has not been sleeping. So um, that much, right? So what I'm saying is that probably for one month, for one week, for two, three days, she hasn't been sleeping that much. And that's why now the consequence is, is that she has some circles. Um, any other possibility with the first uh, picture, with the picture of the girl, with the, with the eye bags, eye circles, Why do you think she, any? Uh -huh. She had had been a bad night, maybe. Oh, okay. So she has been, and I need the ing because we are talking about long activities. So she has been having a long night. Exactly. Exactly. Maybe she was, I don't know, in someone's funeral. Maybe she was having a party. Maybe she, she was a wedding. She has, been, she has been studying a lot. Yeah, maybe she was studying a lot, exactly. Yeah. Or she has been working a lot, right? Or working mm -hmm. on a project. There are a lot of reasons here. So if you take a look, we are going to use this for long activities. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the time? Because this is another tense. So I am going to use normally two expressions for this tense. The first one is since, and the second one is for. Do you remember when to use each? Since. Can you give me some ideas for the years? Uh -huh. So for if I want to use years, I'm going to use since or for. Hi, Enrique, good evening. Since. Mm -hmm. For example, I can say 2020. So we have been under COVID uh, since 2020, right? So I can say the specific moment an activity uh, started. I have been working since 2020. Exactly, since 2020. That moment that activity started since I was 21 years old, for example. You can mention a moment in your life. I have been working since I was 20 years old. So in that moment, this activity started. I have been studying English, but also I can say since, since I was 16, since I was 17, since 2020, since January, but also I can use four, but four is for the period of time. How long have you been studying English, guys? In my case, I have been studying English for, wait, <laughs> 15 mm. years. Um, so for 15 years, so here, I don't need to say when I started. I have to say like the Torah, right? So I have been studying mm -hmm. English for 15 years. What about you? Mm, I've been studying English for two years. Oh, very cool. I can include months, right? For two months, for six months, for two days, for two hours. So I can include a specific periods of time. So um yeah we are going to try to make some examples using guys the pictures that we have 
in the previous slide. Let's try not to write the examples, okay? Not to write them. Just in your mind, remember, she has been ing. She has been doing. She has been going. She has been working. She has been or he has been, right? That is the structure. Or I have been and then ing. Uh, for example, this woman uh, has eye circles because she has been crying all night long because she has been working. So she has been and then ing. That is the structure. Let's try to make some sentences in groups, okay? Uh, share your ideas, share your examples, but don't write them, only share them. And then we come back and we uh, share with the whole class, all right? I'm gonna give you only five minutes, guys. Make the examples, but don't write them down, only in your head, try to make them just in your head, please. Let's go, go. You can take a picture, right? And you can share the picture in the group.
uh, in the cars with an accent. Uh, yes. I think that that the driver has been drinking a lot of beer this night. Un poco tomado. The driver has driver. been. The driver has been has driving. Been uh, drunk. Drink. Uh, no, drinking. Has been drinking. 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 All the night. A lot of beers. A lot at of the beers. night. A lot. A lot of beers. beers. The last night. Or or this night. Or the night. Yes. Okay. Next. Upset. <clears throat> Piece of how do you how do you say piece piece of uh, yeah. <laughs> stuff? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, well you can say pissed off. So he has pissed. been feeling kind of pissed off. Uh -huh. Pissed off. Pissed. It's more, more than very angry. Uh, it's more it, intensive. It's informal. Obviously, you don't use it in a formal context. <laughs> but <laughs> pissed off is when you are like, you know, out to here. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> uh -huh. When you are the angriest that you can. Uh -huh. So you're extremely, extremely, extremely angry. So you're pissed off. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. You're fine. Cody? Adrian. It was a nice time. It was a nice time and, uh, and very, uh, uh -huh, very relaxed and funny too. That's, it was nice. Good uh -huh. for you. <laughs> so okay. Sophia, what what do you tell about that lady? We have a pain in the in their back. Has a sore in his back. Um, uh, the pain. Uh, maybe she is a dancer and and she practices. Uh huh. Or you know, maybe maybe he is a yeah a, a professional a, a gymnast professional, and um, that's the reason she has a lot of pain in her back and um, has a and he has to a lot of stress too for the muscle or the yeah the the muscle here and, and that part of the yeah. body are. I suffer, uh -huh. I suffer a lot, and that that's a pain. And when I have a, a, a the last last week, two weeks ago, I had a a lot of pain in my in my leg, Nick. but it was a I don't know how do you say a tobillo in my how do you say Me. tobillo, teacher? Yeah. Okay. Uh, me, uh, yeah. That's your heel. We can uh, heel, heel. Okay, heel. I was uh, a lot of pain in my heel. I had to, I had to, to take some pills, a pills, but I don't remember the what kind of pill that I took. It's um. Uh, I am like what I don't know. I don't know. And uh, uh, flex. Uh, maybe, yes. <laughs> like that, uh. Remember the name, Metocarbamol. Ah, Meto yes. Metocarbamol. Uh -huh. I feel it good when I have like pain in my shoulders or pain in my back. But I, to be honest with you, when you're talking about Dolofin, I don't like the flavor. <laughs> Dolofin tastes horrible. So, yeah. and also metrocarbamol. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. But that is the name, scientific name? No, huh? 
Metocarba, yes. Ajá. There is like the chemical Ajá. component, I think. Ajá. Ajá. Uh -huh. And acetaminophen is for. But it can cause in your stomach and um, a pain and I don't know how to say in English, gastritis. 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 Uh -huh. Which one? Metocarbamol? Or metocarbamol. Metocarbamol. Uh -huh. yeah. Diclofenac. Diclofenac. Oh, well, but. The club we are talking about serious pills. I know that is bad for mm -hmm. your kidneys, I think. What? So they they affect yeah. your kidneys. Yeah, right? What is the, that? The, the what kidney. Is kidneys? The kidney is what we are going to sell if the gasoline continue, <laughs> continues increasing. That is an organ. So you have two kidneys. Uh -huh. You have two lungs uh -huh, and you have mm -hmm. two kidneys, exactly. Yes. Ah, kid okay. So I know that diclo affects the kidneys, but I'm not sure. Uh, the uh, second effect. The, the, the side ones, uh -huh, the after mm -hmm. effects. Yes, mm -hmm. we actually, we call it side effects. Side effect or after effect, mm -hmm. los efectos secundarios, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So after effect yeah. or side effect, yes. Did you finish with, with all the all the pictures? Not yet. No, not yet. Oh, okay. yet. No problem, yeah. continue guys. No, cool, continue. Yes, I'll, I'll see you in a moment. Let me go. He's missing the They was fighting. What was the reason for the couple was fighting and they was in this accident with her, with the car? It's, it needs to be a big reason for the accident. So they had because been fighting. He, he was washing the font and he uh, was distracting. Yeah. I'm sorry, the, I'm sorry, what's up for Example. And the woman yes. saw that he was watching another woman, and for that reason, it started fighting. And <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> the, your com your comment appeared in the Rosa de Guadalupe. So, wait, I didn't quite get that. So, what you're saying is that the accident was caused because the man was like looking at another woman? Monica no, the that. accident was. Monica said. <laughs> Yeah, Monica said that. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's super creative. <laughs> Don't take me wrong. It's super it's creating a, a, a very long movie with only no, kind of no because people. I saw that they maybe the car was driving for a man and they in this world the men say that no could be a man could be a woman so I decide to say okay. A couple was in the car and the man was driving. So they told me we need a reason for, for, for a the man crash. driving. So I make uh -huh. the history for be clear and for be okay in the group. So okay. for don't be fighting, I make the history, but everyone help me. <laughs> and now I, I mean it's super cool that you came out with that idea. I was like, okay, that's super creative. I, I wouldn't have thought about it. Uh, maybe I would have said that the accident was caused because the, the man had been checking the phone or the man had been on a call, but not because the man had been watching uh, or looking at another woman. Another so. woman. <laughs> I think it's really creative. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. Sure. But uh, I think uh, other idea, uh, the woman mm -hmm. uh, was driving a and applying the, the, the makeup, applying her makeup, makeup, ah, driving. That's another doing possibility. The, the, doing, doing the two things. Uh, at the same time, simultaneously. Yeah. That, that would yeah. be like a, like another possibility as well, you know, that the woman was uh, applying on or putting on makeup, exactly. I But I have to be really honest. Most of the accidents I are caused by men. 
Seriously. I told yes. you guys. I told you. I don't know, girls. I don't know, boys, if you agree with me. But what I have <laughs> seen on the news is that most of the accidents are caused not by girls, but by men. Teacher, so, teacher. But, but there are more men driving than women. Not now. Yes. I have seen a lot of women driving, so and a lot of women driving well. <laughs> but, <laughs> yes, sure. In fact, in Monica, in fact, Monica said to us uh, when a couple are mm -hmm. traveling, uh, normally the, the main drive. Normally. Yeah. I, I saw that I saw that if a couple have a car, it's normal that the men going to drive or the woman be the like copilot. The copilot, co yeah. So mm -hmm. it's normal that the men have, you know, the accidents. So mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Well, I, I like driving. I have to say. So if it is like with my brother, for example, I prefer to drive. I don't trust them. <laughs> <laughs> they drive I always tell them that they drive like microbuseros you know because suddenly they just like uh, zigzag and I don't like it so I think I'm a little bit more careful so I prefer to drive but yes I, I totally agree with you so normally it's men the one who drives yeah okay. because in this story the main call is stop the car but no the, he continued he to crush <laughs> Angry and made the accidents. Okay, yeah. super cool. No, but it is very cool, very, very cool indeed. <laughs> Guys, because of the time, let's go back. And I really want to listen to the rest of your ideas. <laughs> <laughs> so they sound really cool. Thank you for coming back guys um we are going to wait hold on i guess the rest of the guys wait a still but up this in but i'm super happy because we have very nice ideas here very creative and i'm looking forward to listening to what you have to say okay just give me one second oh they have 15 seconds so let's wait for the rest hold on Teacher. Yes, miss. Uh, I need your help. Oh, sure. Tell me. But it's more personal, but oh. it's necessary. Like in this week, I'm going to have my interview in English. Oh. But it's not for young, it's for uh, my classes of administration. I've been ah. nervous. Before. Me if you want, to... text me. So if you want, text me and I can make the time so we can practice before your interview. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was scared that Brian I text you, sorry, because normally all the teachers are very crowded with the thing that uh, but I can make but I can make the time, no worries. So normally um I have some availability in the afternoon. So if you have the time, text me and we can arrange something. Uh -huh. So you can get ready for that. No, no worries. Text me, guys. <laughs> Normally, I reply one week later, but I reply. <laughs> OK, uh, I guess everybody's back. OK, OK, guys, so nice. I really want to listen to your ideas here. They were super creative, super cool. And I want to know what's going on, especially with the last pictures that we didn't like um get to analyze what happened before so what can you tell me with this woman what is wrong with her so what has she been doing the second picture guys do you have any example here any idea yes i said uh, in my group that i think that this woman it feel 
is feeling mm -hmm. when when we, when the women in, are with the menstruation. I don't know ah, how to say. Okay. It. Yeah, you can say in her days. So that is very common. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So she is, she has been having her period. So that's what you mean. Yes. Okay. Yeah, period in her days, menstruation. Her yeah. Days. Mm -hmm. Yes, in her days. That's easier, I think. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. So you can say I am on on my in my days, for example. Oh, my and, days. and yeah, yeah, and everybody gets that. Okay. Oh, very cool. Anybody else? What do you have about the second picture, guys? No more ideas. Um. He has um uh, in the gym when he work out. Uh, oh, okay. Very hard. Mm -hmm. I think she has been um, make no making doing a lot of exercise. Doing, yes. yes. <laughs> doing she has been doing. Uh -huh, very nice. Exactly. She has been doing a lot of exercise. And she feels <coughs> sore. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Guys, normally with the word soul, you can say I am sore eh, or I feel sore. Or you can say what part of your body. For example, my feet are sore. So you can mention what part of your body is feeling with a little pain, like to be more specific. Okay, very good. Now, what about the car crash? There is like uh, Monica's group have a lot of ideas about the car crash. It's really interesting. <laughs> Out of the normal, I have to say. So guys, can you share your ideas? Uh, my idea or the other ones? Oh, your group's idea. So that's okay with the, with the car crash. The car crash. Mm -hmm. I in the group we was first we were discussing because I saw that maybe the accident uh, was a man that he has been drinking, drinking a lot, and made the accident. So uh, the guys of my group say that no could be a woman that was make a put her make a mom. And okay, I said okay, I gonna make the story for B good in the group and I saw that maybe a couple was fighting in the car that they mm -hmm. had been fighting and the man <laughs> was uh, so angry and continuing mm -hmm. the car and made the accident so it started to say that no it could be a woman could be a man and mm -hmm. you know we make the the history <laughs> for be happy with the with the with idea that we have uh, the idea for the imagine so only that uh, okay okay so but at the end it was a man or it was a woman the one who uh, had the car accident i i said that the men because if a <laughs> couple have a car it's normal the men like a gentleman drive the car and the woman be like a couple Pilot, yes, so pilot. okay, it's, it's very normal. And I so and I say, if what the this couple was fighting, mm -hmm. uh, it was fighting because the man saw a woman in her in his home, and the woman put angry, jealous, and started disgusting. But the man mm -hmm. don't stop the car, the man continued in the accident, so okay, okay. Yes. So it was just like a like a sort of disagreement because of, of, a, of a woman. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your example, guys. In the chat, I wrote this word that can help us also understand the situation. We have fighting, which is perfect. And also we have this other word that is arguing or argue, right? I don't know if you have seen this. So, uh, so when we are talking about argue, so argue is to have a verbal discussion with a person and fighting can be a little bit more physical. So for example, with my boss sometimes or with my supervisor, I argue, right? So I don't fight, I argue. Uh, Yolanda says the problem with this example is the teacher. What do you mean, Yolanda? <laughs> so the person who learned the woman to drive. 
Ah, the driving teacher. Yes, uh -huh, ah. the driving teacher, because normally it's out, man. This is the problem, okay. the real problem. <laughs> oh, that it is not a, well, maybe. <laughs> yes, but, but the guys were saying sometimes uh, women put on makeup. Guys, defend yourselves. <laughs> I think, I think that the husband has been lending the car to his wife uh, uh, to his wife okay. and this is the result wait so the woman crashed exactly <gasps> okay <laughs> oh my god boys so, don't do it oh uh, uh, excuse me <laughs> guys do you have any other example so we have two female examples here so no 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 one one male one female so what about the other group who crashed the man or the woman Normally the man. Baby, yeah. I said the, the <laughs> man was was watching the cell phone while driving. Oh, I agree with you. <laughs> oh. Or on the or, phone, right? He was on the como, phone. Como, 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 como yeah, digo que yes. la que yeah, ella iba. She has been or she was. Uh, este... What do you want to say, Debo? Ah, she sure. has been uh -huh. eh, maquillándose, cambiando, putting, de, putting, cambia, hey. cambia, change the radio station, eh, saludando on. a la persona que va al lado y, o sea, por eso chocó. Okay, so she was careless. She was uh -huh. driving carelessly, putting on. Uh -huh. We can use the, the expression put on makeup. So she has been putting on makeup and that's why. I agree with you. Some women do that. Okay. Very nice examples, guys. Do, uh, I think I heard somebody else. Do you have any other I know, examples? I agree with you, teacher. For, for <laughs> me, teacher, because uh, he, this, this woman uh -huh. has not slept well the night uh -huh. before for me. And that's why she crashed. Yes. Mm, yes. Maybe. For, but, but uh -huh, that's take, a good reason. Or take care of his baby. That's a very good reason. Also, I know a lot of doctors, they have an eye shift or they work 24 hours, 48 hours. So they are almost, they haven't slept, you know, for a long period of time. So those, that can be the consequence. Yes, Enrique. Other possibility was uh, the driving was driver automatically by Google. The, uh, the pilot list, I think the pilot list. The new one. Uh, there are no driving. Uh -huh, like the automatic, and, and the, I don't know. The last, automatic the last driving? Uh -huh. I don't automatic know if Tesla driving. or Google. Tesla. Mm. Tesla, right? Tesla, Tesla is the manufacturer. But Google is, uh, I think, Google is the, the, software, the oh, software. Oh, okay. But imagine having Google in El Salvador and if it follows Google Maps. So one day I had to do an illegal turn <laughs> because of Google Maps. So I don't trust it anymore. <laughs> uh -huh. Teacher, yes, but sir. according to the statistics, uh -huh. I am not sure. Uh, the man uh, involved in fat Fatal crashes are more uh, likely to be drunk. That oh, so because they have been drinking. Oh, yes. I knew it was men, but I didn't know the reason. So it according is according numbers. Oh, <laughs> oh, good to know, Sophia. Uh, I have a theory. I have an accident, teacher. Oh, because I was driving with my high lights. High heels? Highlight. With high heels? High heels. The shoes? High heels? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. What happened? Uh, I crashed the car. No, I mean, I... Did, did your heel get stuck? My heels, I can drive with heels, with okay. high heels. Uh-huh. You, uh -huh. And I drive with tennis oh. because... Uh, that happened. I know the feeling. You know, um, I felt it the first time I was wearing high heels. I couldn't drive. 
I remove it. <laughs> and I was yes. I was driving without shoes um, because that that I had the same feeling. <laughs> oh, but but it was okay. So you were not hurt. No. Okay. No hurt. It was just a little dent. A little kiss that we call in Spanish. So that is called that is called a dent guys when we are talking about cars and like you crash them and there is like a little besito that we call in spanish so that is a dent so this car is not dented the car is destroyed completely but the word is dent right like a little bump like a little hit mm -hmm. that, that's called dent. that is the reason that i now i drive with tennis and the high heels in in my car on my car ah, okay like a so your your heels are in the in the in the boot of the car uh-huh no yeah. but i think that is more um well yeah if you don't feel comfortable i think it is the best um way right okay guys i have some exercise for you uh, i don't know if you can see them i think this is more with it. but they are like very very easy because remember we are just using the bird that you see here with ing and that's it so we can use i have been and then ing or she has been and then ing so can you help me you don't need to write them down you have been working on the platform so it is just for us to remember a little bit and talk about it so um sylvia please can you help me with number one how would you complete it yeah he has working he has been working in this company since 1985. Very good. Thank you so much. Guys, what about you? How long have you been working in your company? So I have been working for Inglés Corporativo for maybe three or four years. What about you? How long have you been working for your company? So I have been working. I have been working since 2006. Wow. Okay. So 14. To almost 16, 16 years, years? Uh -huh. yeah. wow for 16 years oh yeah. that's a lot of time what about the rest of you guys how long have you been working there i have been working uh, for 18 years 18 years wow that's a career amazing what about the rest of you guys i have working in my company uh, since a uh, in 19, uh, let me see, 1994. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, during wow. 28, 20 year, 28 years. Wow, 28 years in the company. Yes. What is the company's name? It's a, um, a government institution, oh. Ministry de Hacienda. Very nice. Yeah. So 28 years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My, I, I, you know, I tell jokes to my sister because she has been working in a company for, I don't know, 20 something years. So I always tell her you're part of the inventario. <laughs> <laughs> Me well, too. No, but it's, it is a career so it is amazing wow what about the rest of you guys can the mask so who has been working more elvis yes i have been working for uh, 16 years 15 yes wow i'm super impressed most of you have been working in the same company for a long period of time okay mm -hmm. What about the rest of you guys? Mauricio, how, how long have you been there? Uh, I, uh, I was working in um, for 18 years in in sector in insurance in in the area. In that area, in or in the field. In 18 in years. the insurance field. Okay, so you were working there and now? I'm right now, I am working in, in that area too. Oh, so, so, oh so you have been working there for how long did you say? Uh -huh. I have been working for 18 years. 18 years, okay. 18 years. Wow, mm -hmm. super nice. So it's been like a long career for most of you guys. Um, let's go with the second one. Um, well, Maurice, can you help me with number two, please? Who? 
Who? Uh, you. Ah, hi. <laughs> so, Mauricio, yes, please. Ah, I'm sorry. I changed your name already. So that's why. <laughs> Help me with a second, please. Um, I have been waiting for for you since two o'clock. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, Silvia, can you help me with numbers? Uh, no, you helped me already. Wait. Claudia, can you please help me with number three? Mary. Okay. Mary had been uh, living in Germany since 1992. All right. Thank you so much. Dagoberto, can you go with number four? Uh, why is he so tired? He has been playing tennis for five hours. Thank you so much. Uh, Irving, can you help me with number five? This is a question. So we're going to switch up a little bit the order. So how long? How long have been... Have you? Long have, have you been learning English? Very good. Exactly. How long have you been learning English? This is the structure. How long have you been studying? How long have you been living? How long have you been... Uh, practicing so tomorrow we are going to work questions a little bit more no worries about it enrique help me with number six please teacher i i was answering my wife oh. i don't know oh no yes. problem she, that is she okay. has a problem she has a oh. problem but i resolved now oh. oh okay uh, let me try let me try you sure. are no problem we can help you here The ing four. We have. Um, we, we have. have been, we had. We have been look for the motorway for for more than an hour. All right. Very nice. Yes, we are going to include the ing. So we have been looking, mm -hmm. but the rest is yes. very nice. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Please help me with number seven. Hey, teacher. I have been living with living. Mm -hmm. without. without without electricity for two weekend week yeah very weekend. nice yes there you go thank you uh mm -hmm. veronica do you have number eight can you help us with eight Vero? i try i try to try. sure go ahead the film mm -hmm. uh, this is negative so the film Mm. We have have and has. The field has home, has mm -hmm. a home mm -hmm. 40 minutes yet, but there's a commercial break all ahead. Thank you. Yes, very good. And the last one, guys, number nine, we are going to omit number 10. So number nine is equation. So how long? And we have she. So how long has she or how long have she? Which of them? Has she? Has, has she. Mm -hmm. she? How long has she? Working. Has she been? Working in the garden. We just need one more word. So how long has she? Has been working. Been working. Been working. Exactly. So how long has she been working in the garden? Because that is a continuous activity. Uh, guys, I'm going to stop it here because I think some of you have questions with the platform. So just give me one second. Um, mm -mm. One sec. Let me just work with it. So who, who was having difficulties, guys, with the exercise? Were you able to solve them or still the platform is giving you some issues? So, um, ¿qué parte era o qué ejercicio? Do you remember? Section 3.10. Section 3.10. Okay. So the midterm. Okay. Give me one sec. Let me just open it up and let me show you here. So is it only the midterm? It's the first, the first activity to the midterm. Oh, okay. Give me one sec. My internet, well, the platform is a little heavy, so hold on. So are you talking about listening here? Hmm? Is this exercise no. the one? No. 
Um, or, or do you remember like which specific exercise is giving you some issues? Uh, this is uh, the midterm. So section three, uh, at the bottom, we have the midterm. Or is it a section three only? I it's had a... problems with this one, teacher. Uh, with we... section B of the midterm, the midterm and also with section three. Okay. With... So... Which one means? Which of them is giving you issues? Or todas ellas, or all of them? Because in the group, uh, I was checking, y la mayoría, you know, some of you were able to solve it, utilizando las, las relative pronouns, like who, that, and which. Normally, el más común es that, so you can give it a try with that one. But let me know si eh, tiene like any specific exercise. And also it says here uh, the period at the end. So, you know, remember that si se nos olvida un espacio y le agregamos un espacio, ya no va a funcionar. So the exercise wouldn't work. So, ¿cuál es el ejercicio, guys? From this, that is not working. Section section three. No, but in the midterm, but just in the section. In my case, uh, I have problems also in um, with the midterm. Mm -hmm. But if you prefer, we have to check uh, section three first. I don't know. And section three, mm -hmm. um, point ten. Three point thing for being more specific. Okay. The next one, next one, this one. Now okay. let's check. Mm -hmm. All right. So this. which which is the one that is not working? Um, I only uh, answer, or I, I I try to answer it every mm -hmm. every question, but but only um. You're getting in negative. I, I, I can I can do it only two mm -hmm. and in the rest I, I I couldn't okay 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 so one one workaround that we can do something that works a lot is actually con esto de acá la mayoría de ejercicios por la configuración del teclado and this has happened like even to me my my keyboard normal is in español Entonces, si se fijan, cuando ustedes sacan una, uh, el apóstrofe, el apóstrofe es como una línea. No es, eh, it's just different. So, lo que les sugiero para este ejercicio es que si va a poner el apóstrofe, que lo copie y solamente lo pegue. Because, normalmente, eso es lo que pasa con, con las que tienen um, some contractions como estas de acá. So, try it and let me know. Si todavía no le funciona, escríbame para revisarle. Probably something else o una letra si nos, eh, no le hemos escrito o it's not working because eso me funciona a mí, you know, that works for me. So okay. let me know I guys. Is it not? Take a picture, okay. take a screenshot and, and we will solve it. All right. Thanks okay. everybody. Uh, thank you for your time. Si todavía les está dando dificultades, mándenme una captura directa and, and, and I will check it, right? Because a veces en el grupo se nos va pasando. Thanks everybody for your time. Gotta let you go and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good